Hey there, Survivors. Cougar here, and I've been shipwrecked again. I don't know why this keeps happening to me. I've been shipwrecked. I've been plane wrecked, helicopter wrecked. I've been balloon wrecked. I've been spaceship wrecked. And now here I am, wrecked on a desert island. And I was a member of Ponce de Leon's expedition in search of the Fountain of Youth. So it's day one survival, folks. You know what that means. Pick up everything. And our top priorities are going to be fresh water, shelter, and food. We're getting a, a little bit of guidance from above in the upper right hand corner it wants me to craft coconut water well first things first let's get out of the sun because it does look pretty bright out there open the inventory uh go to crafting uh craft up a coconut and probably drink it a water yes i have new guidance from above it's asking me to drink it a water I've learned how to satisfy my hunger. Well, satisfy my thirst anyway. Now I need to satisfy my hunger. And to do that, I need to find a shell. That's weird. It's a strange request. But it looks like uh, there's a little something trying to get my attention over here. That's a shell. Well, it's, a, it's a little bright out here in the sun right now. I'm sorry. It's a little hard to see these things. but And now it wants me to extract the mollusk from the shell. Yes, there's a rope down there, but we'll worry about that in a second. So let's get this and craft with it and find the mollusk and craft it right out of its shell. I could have select i could have done both at the same time but now i've just done one there we go and now it wants me to eat now it's not telling me what i'm supposed to eat so i'm not going to eat those mollusks because it tells me that if i eat them i have an eight percent chance of getting sick from them whereas if i crack open this cocoa nut this only has a three percent chance of getting indigestion from it so let's eat that instead Next goal is to buy, find myself a place to sleep, which sounds like a great idea. And it wants me to gather some narrow leaves. That was a yellow leaf, which means it's, it's dead, it's burned. But we can go over here to these small palm trees and see if we can craft up something that's going to help us make a shelter, like two of those. Let's get two of those. And here's another coconut that's going to keep us alive today. And three more of the narrow leaves will make five. I have gathered five narrow leaves as the guidance from above asked me to. Now it wants me to build a primitive bed of leaves. There's a little bit of an overhang from the rock here. So why don't we slap it down here to begin with. So crafting to the buildings, to a primitive bed of leaves, place it. there and then fill in the leaves place resources and build this is going to take me 30 minutes so if you've played the long dark this has a similar crafting system where time passes as you do the crafting work so that's good i mean i like it i like it that way i, I it's, I think it's great. Anyway, uh, our next goal, guidance from above, is to sleep six hours or more, but it's still bright daylight, so I don't think we have to do that. Um, look, a bunch more coconuts up there, so why don't we get to work getting them down. For this, we're going to need a cutter. Now, fortunately, I already have an iron knife. When I dove off of the ship just now, I was able to grab a couple of things. I was able to grab a leather backpack and an iron knife. So we already have a knife with which we can cut down this food so let's do that great more food there excellent and now let's go off in search of other things hey look there's some fruit hanging up there that'll come in handy let's get some Ooh, dates and a lot of them seven dates now these are raw dates they might make me a little sick if i well only a three percent chance to eat them to, to get sick from them but they only provide four food when eating so um kind of want to stay out of the sun as much as possible here in the bright middle of the day so why don't we skirt along instead of going out into the the, the center of the island there let's go along the shoreline here and see what we can find we can we found another coconut tree we will harvest all of that because we need all the food and water we can get and that looks like a big mad dash across 
burning sands. Um, oh, shoot. That, that rope that was down here, we never actually went and got it, did we? I never picked it up. Or did I? I forget now. But if not, I think that seems like an important thing to have. So let's have that rope from the ship. And now quickly dart across until we get to the shade here. Whew, yeah, see, we were getting a little sunburned out there already. Uh, there's just more leaves, which we may actually need. So let's grab some of those. Um, we already have a couple. We have four of the yellow leaves, so I'm not going to grab any more yellow leaves. But we might need more of the narrow leaves. And I don't see any more coconuts in this little stand of palms. Or dates. So just a, maybe a couple more of these green narrow leaves and we'll be good to go. All right. Um, looking off at that next stand of trees, I see it looks like there might be dates on one of them, but I don't see any more coconuts. Let's just quickly check. No, no, that's not dates. Shoot. Yeah, well, we'll, we'll kill a crab in a minute when it's dinner time, but... Ooh, look, it looks like a, a crate might have washed up from the shipwreck. Hey, it's got a loaf of bread in it. Excellent. I'm going to go ahead and eat that right up because I was getting hungry already. And ooh, a stick. We're going to need that. Oh, boy. I'm out here in the bright sun. This is not good. Uh, there's a big stone for us, but we don't. probably not going to need that tonight. So I'm going to skip it. Oh, another crate is good. And is there more rope here? Uh, if we cut that down, it just gives us sticks. So no. Uh, another shell. I'm going to skip those. Uh, another loaf of bread. Excellent. Should I eat that? Uh, I'm just going to move it for now. Move it into our inventory. And then let's get the heck out of the sun. Another stick, though. And another stick. And now let's get out of the sun. Okay, Whew. yeah, we've got no clothing on us right now, so being out in the sun is a risky proposition. We really don't want to get sunburnt on our first day here. So we'll quickly dash from shade to shade. And then catch our breath in the shade. And dash. Oh, it's hot out there. And dash. Okay, well, we're not tired yet. Um, it's still bright daylight. Let's see if there's anything else we can do before going to sleep. There's another little stand of trees over there. They're not providing much shade, but let's go see what they have to offer. Ah, sticks and bark. Bark for starting a fire and sticks for, you know, burning. So let's grab some of these. That's a bunch, bunch of sticks. That's three bark, four sticks. Select all and gather. Terrific. All right. Um, the sun appears to be on its way down now. Let's see. Am I still getting? I'm not taking sun damage out here anymore. Okay, good. So let's wander around a bit farther from home now. Let's see what's up on this hill. We can get a, a better view from up here, maybe. I hear chickens. What's this? A stump that we could cut down for a half log. Well, I don't have anything to cut it down with. All right, so nice looking beach here. Bunch of trees over that way. A very large tree there. We'll go check that out eventually. And uh, oh yeah, okay. This this island is big. It's it's good sized. It's going to take us a little while to get around all with all this. Uh, let's see, what's that? Chamomile might come in handy. I don't know, maybe we'll make some tea, a little sleepy time tea for us. Now, it may seem like the sun's going down quickly, but remember, all of these actions that I'm doing are taking time to do. And now the sun has actually set, which means that I have a chance of getting injured if I proceed with my harvesting at this point. So let's not do any more harvesting. And let's just take a last little look around here. What's that? A stone pile. It looks like I can harvest this stone pile just by digging around. It's not going to put me at risk of injury. So let's get a bunch of stones from there. Cool beans. So we've got sticks. We've got bark. We've got bread for dinner. And we've got 
when I say sticks, bark, rocks, bread for dinner, and lots of leaves and lots of coconuts. So we should be okay for a nice hearty dinner here tonight. We're a little bit heavy now because I picked up all those sticks and, and rocks. So we're moving a little bit slowly, but that's okay. I'm just going to drop some rocks here. Do, 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 drop in rocks and drop in. I've got lots of coconuts, so why don't I just drop a couple of those just for the purposes of getting a little bit lighter. And we'll go ahead and complete our six hours of sleep now. It's probably going to wake us up before dawn in this case. But oh, health regen. Health is restored while sleeping if you're full of food and water. So let's eat and drink before going to sleep. Let's eat up this bread because that's not going to last very long. So let's eat that right up and we'll split up another one of these coconuts for eating and another one of these coconuts for drinking. Drink the coconut water, eat the coconut, and that should do it. I could eat a little bit more. I'm going to eat one more of these. Yeah, one more, I think, tonight. Have a nice hearty dinner to get us over the trauma of the shipwreck. Okay, now we're full, 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 100%. And now, so now it's time to sleep and we will regenerate health at, at plus three per hour because we are strong and fit. And we it's seven hours till sunrise, so let's just do it for six to complete what our thing is telling us to do. And we'll be up an hour before sunrise, which is good. Now we have a, our voice from above is giving us a new goal. That is to create a stone axe. We have, I believe, everything we need to do that because we've already picked up a stone, right? So we'll go to tools, stone axe. We need one stone, one stick. Oh, it's still dark, so we've got a chance of injury there. So let's hold off on that for another hour. We'll get some of this stuff back on us. Maybe one more stone. And just check. We do have a clock-ish down here at the very bottom in the center. So we'll just keep an eye on that. And when the sun's up, we'll make our stone axe. In the meantime, let's see what else is going on here. We got more leaves. Green leaves and brown leaves. More leaves, green leaves, and brown leaves. That is a big tree. You know, I'll bet we could climb up there and get a really good lookout around the island. It is probably sunrise. Yep, there comes the sun. So let's make our stone axe. Uh, crafting tools, stone axe, and oh, it's still dark because we've still got a chance of injury at 21% there. So give it another couple of minutes. Sunrise? Nope, not quite yet. One more minute. And sun should be up. Let's try. Oh, that's melee weapons. Tools, stone axe, and yes, we're good to start crafting our first stone axe. Excellent. Now that should pop down into my toolbar at number two. And my new goal is to go hunting a crab. To do that, we're going to need a long stick. And it looks like the voice from above is telling me that we might be able to find a long stick up here where we were last night. Yes, this is where we, we saw the long sticks on the tree, but it was getting dark at that point. So we decided not to harvest them last night. Select all. That's four long sticks. It's going to take, what, an hour and 20 minutes to get all those? Four new blueprints unlocked. As long as we're here at the long sticks, I'm going to grab a bunch. Let's grab all the long sticks. This is, might make us heavy. Yeah, it's going to make us a little bit heavy. In fact, if I pick these up, that's probably going to make us so heavy that we can't move. So forget that. So since we're going to have to get back down to the beach to hunt a crab anyway, let's take these long sticks back down to the beach. So tired. <sighs> oh, and the sun is fully up now, so we're taking, you know, we're getting a little bit of sunstroke out here in the stun sun. So let's get back in, into the shade as quickly as possible. There we go. Okay, now we're in the shade. Let's go to our crafting, to our melee weapons, a wooden spear. All we need is a long stick. So craft it up. Great. 
now. Let's make sure that that is in one of our slots. Let's put it in that slot. And we'll just have the knife on us in case we need it. Crouch and sneak to a crab in the middle of the burning daylight. Uh, um, let's drop the rest of these long sticks because they're slowing us down. And now we'll go out hunting crabs. It wants me to crouch, but I don't want to spend too much time out here. If we get behind him, he won't be as likely to see us. Okay, throw a spear and hit the crab. No problem. Very good. Build a campfire is our new goal to prepare for a journey. So let's get a fire down. Crafting some machines. A fire is a machine, apparently. Place that there. Fill it up with sticks and start it. How do I start it? I don't have anything with which to start it. Uh, well, but I've built it anyway, right? So let's build it. Cool. Now, craft. Uh, our new objective is to craft a spindle fire starter. So crafting, fire starters, spindle fire starter. All we need is two small sticks. Get that crafted up. And cook food on the campfire. So let's get this lit. Uh, put a little fuel on there. Four hours should be plenty. We'll use tree bark as tinder and the spindle fire starter to ignite the fire. Good. And now cook some food. So here's some food. Uh, it's going to take 20 minutes on the fire. Great. Harvest two wide leaves. Um, we're not that hungry yet. I'm going to hang on to that roasted crab for a minute. Uh, we could eat it right now, but I think that might actually fill us all the way up. So let's not worry about that. Our new objective to harvest two wide leaves. The voice from above is telling me that I might be able to find some wide leaves over here. Wide leaves. Select all. Six new blueprints unlocked. Many, many wide leaves. Now it wants me to craft a steamed bandage. So back to the fire. We're going to need a fire to make steam. Yeah, and we've been out in the sun way too long. You can see we're, we're about halfway to getting a sunburn which we don't want. Okay, so steamed leaf bandage requires two of the wide leaf and one of the narrow leaves. Good, but that is good for, you know, your general cuts and scrapes and bruises and so on. We've also got chamomile juice here. Remember, we grabbed those chamomile flowers. And so this is good for indigestion, stomach aches, diarrhea, food poisoning. Uh, so as long as we have what we need for that, Let's go ahead and make a couple of these. Good. Um, craft a mapping charcoal. So, two mapping charcoals down here from one stick. Very good. Now, find a cartographer tree. A voice in my head telling me that there might be a cartography tree. Cartographer tree over here. Boy. The sun's brutal right now. Climb the cartographer tree. To do that, I'm going to need a rope, which I have already, apparently. When did I get a rope? I don't remember finding a rope, but apparently I had a rope on me. So, all good. Up the tree. Maybe you start with a rope. I must have started with a rope. Oop, that's a big bird nest over there. Great place for mapping. Great views all around up here. Except that way. Okay, so let's map it out. Start the mapping process to find resources again. Like the long dark, it's going to fill in the map as you sketch. Ooh. I'm something... My status just changed. Tutorial completed. Follow the story or explore the world on your own. Weather affects your health. Yada yada. Um... I have a new goal, which is to find the pictured grotto. Now, when before I jumped off the ship earlier, uh, there was a... I grabbed a little hand sketch off of the, in the, from the captain's cabin. Uh, 
which shows me that there's a grotto over here, which would probably be a good place to set up a first temporary shelter. Well, it doesn't even have to be temporary, really. Uh, but it's under this rock with it's kind of balanced on top of another one so it might be a place to hang out um and get a little shelter from the rain because you know this type of the, this part of the world you never know when it's going to start pouring rain but before we leave let's get everything mm, you know we, we we have no nothing to use the worms for right now we really have nothing to use the feathers for at this point either but that's lots of eggs seven eggs so let's get those eggs and then the next time we build a fire, we can make some fried eggs. Which is always good. We could actually sleep up there if we wanted to. We could put down maybe a little temporary bed up there. One of those little primitive leaf beds. And spend the night. But we're not going to. Oh, uh, we did get a little sunburn. That's what that noise was up in the tree. I thought that we were sheltered from the sun up there, but... As the sun was going down, it must have come down at an angle. The, the sunlight must have come through at an angle that actually gave me a sunburn. So now our skin is a bit burnt. And hopefully it will get better on its own because we have no other way to treat it right now. I don't think the steamed bandage will do that. No, these are just for cuts, really. So we have no way to treat that sunburn right now we just have to kind of take care of ourselves and hope that it goes away on its own uh the first part of that would be getting a good night's sleep tonight so let's eat something we'll eat up that roasted crab now and there was just no more bread left okay uh some rotten food that spoiled what rotten food did i have that spoiled already i don't know what what food that was that i picked up that has spoiled already but anyway we don't want to start a fire so let's just go let's eat up these dates these might make us a little sick. 3% chance of indigestion. I think that's all of those we're going to eat. Let's cut up a coconut for water and this coconut for food. We might actually need two of these for water here. We've got enough, so. Okay, and then inventory. Coconut water. Mm. Coconut food. If I drink this last coconut water, that's going to put us up to 100%, which I, I don't want to waste a drop of this. I oh, see we're only at 82, so getting 30 water back is too much. So I'm going to hang on to that for now. In the meantime, let's have another good night's sleep. And hopefully our chance of treating all maladies on this bed is 35%. So hopefully we'll be able to... Yeah, I'm pretty tired. I may sleep in a minute. Yeah, maybe a couple of hours. Sun's going to be fully up by the time we get up, but I think we need the rest more than anything. Well, our sunburn didn't fully heal, and we actually ended up in the sun a little bit there at the end of our sleep, so that's not great. But let's drink up the other coconut water and then head off, because our new goal is to find the pictured grotto, which is under that mountain according to the sketch that we found. So hopefully we can dash over there. Let's just grab some of these and until we get to the point where we're too heavy to dash. Nope, okay, we're still good to dash. All right, let's go. Let's dash over to that big monster of a mountain. Let's see what's there. Might as well grab that as I'm walking by. Uh, these guys aren't going anywhere. We can always come back and hunt them later. Ooh, there's a critter out here. You know, until I get some clothes on me to keep off this sun, we're not going to spend too much time just kind of looking at the wildlife and stuff. Let's stay, especially because I've got this sunburn now. Yeah, that's providing us with a lot of nice shade. More shade. Ah, those are whale bones. And if I go back to the journal and view the document here, it looks like there's a pile of whale bones right in front of the grotto, which means bing, bang, boom. 
here's a grotto. Oh, it looks like it's already got some inhabitants in the form of a Scorpionis. Die, Scorpionis. I'm going to pick them up. I'm scared to get too close. There we go. Okay, so Scorpionis, what's that? A piece of Jatoba gum. And something cool to check out. What else is in here? A campfire with stones already made. A pile of sticks ready, ready and waiting for us. A bunch of stuff that we can chop up once we have it. Oh, we have an axe, right? Okay, let's... Hang on. Let's Before we do that, let's check this out. Living water. I'm leaving this bottle of living water so that the person who finds it can restore their health if the ship wrecks. Well, isn't that, isn't that fortunate? He called it, my ship wrecked. So good luck to you, friend. Thank you very much for the living water. Way to be prescient and see that coming. Hey, a bunch of stuff. Uh, well, okay, a couple of coconuts here. That's just scrap that we can cut up. That'll give us bones, that's good. Ah, a little cutscene. We're going to skip this because they're really nicely drawn, but the writing is just atrocious. I don't think English is the first language because it's pretty freaking bad. Okay, uh, unfinished region map. Unfinished region map. I was not destined to complete a map of the local seas, but it may come in handy to find the place where Santiago sunk, the Santiago, not far from the island. Perhaps there is still something useful there, Ponce de Leon. Okay, so the this is the Isla de Esperanza, the island of hope, and or Hope Island, and then it looks like the Santiago shipwrecked right over there. So we're going to have to go check that out at some point. And then this looks like a native drawing. Or maybe not. Ponce de Leon marked the approximate location of two water sources on the map, the coastal grotto and the place where he lost his spyglass. The caption says that the spyglass remained in the place where fireflies are visible at night on the island of Hope. Great. So here we are at the grotto. And then there's a water source there. There's a water source up here. It looks like it's guarded by jackals. And there's a, his spyglass. This is where he left his spyglass. So all that cool stuff we're going to have to go check out. But first things first, we need to, if we're going to stay here for a couple of days, which we probably are, more Chitoba gum. I think, uh, yeah, because setting up, so this goes all the way through, it looks like. We'll, we'll have to check that out soon, but I really want a torch before we go back in there. Because you can see those scorpions were pretty easy to see on this white sand, on the light colored sand. But back in here, they're going to be impossible to see without a light. So, But let's just pick up all this good stuff that somebody left lying around for us. Uh, I could chop that down now, but it's going to take time. So let's just make sure we do everything we want to do first. Uh, we're heavy already. So now that I've picked all that stuff up, I'm going to put it right back down again. Uh, the heavy stuff anyway. Oh, we've got all these long sticks. That's what's weighing us down. Okay, I can keep all the rest of this on us, I think, for now. Regular sticks we'll take. And because we're going to want to fire here soon. Uh, this is something we can cut down, but again, that's going to take time. So let's just make sure we manage our time wisely here. Let's just see what else is going on out here. I didn't get a good look. Oh good, one of these trees has coconuts on it, so there's more fresh food on there. Uh, I'm gonna leave them up there for now. No point in cutting them down just this minute. Over here we've got a couple of puffball mushrooms, which will start to decay as soon as we pick them up, so I'm gonna leave them there as long as possible. Okay, so what are we going to need in here? We are going to need a bed. I wonder if we can do better than that crappy little primitive bed we started out on. What can we do in here? A bed of leaves. So this will take three long sticks, which we have, and five of the narrow leaves, which we have. So that we started with the primitive bed of leaves. Now we can make an actual bed of leaves, which is raised up off the ground a little bit. So let's do that. We'll get three of those long sticks and put a bed next to the fire to keep us warm. 
Beds, beds, beds. Bed, please. And fill in. And build. An hour and a half. Um, it's midday. So, and we need that, so we'll put that down there. Uh, we're also probably going to want something to store stuff in. Oh, we definitely want... We definitely want clothing, so that's going to be a top priority. But first, let's see if we can make something... No, I think clothing is our priority. So let's make a hat. Keep the sun off. Let's make a leaf cape from five of the narrow leaves. A leaf skirt with four of the wide leaves. And leaf sandals require two more of the wide leaves, which we don't have, but we can probably find without too much trouble. Uh, all that clothing automatically equipped itself to my body. So I have a hat, a cape to keep the sun off, and a leaf skirt. That's a good start. We just need some shoes and a belt. Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah, survival is kind of a slow burn sometimes, you know. It's... Um, at this point, I think we need to take a break from following the voices in my head telling me what to do and just kind of get set up for some basic survival. I'm going to grab all of the coconuts off the beach here to start with. Now, we're still taking a little bit of damage from the sun, but not too much. And... If we get in the shade here, I think we're going to take a minute and really take a good look at the map. Next fire, don't let me forget, we got to cook up these eggs because they're not going to last very long. These scorpions, I don't need. Mm. All right, let's see. Can we make a box? Let's see. A small crate made of sticks? We can. That's all we need right now. That will take half an hour. Okay, the sun's starting to go down now. But now I can put these scorpions away. I don't want to put the eggs in there because I want to remember to cook them up. Jatoba gum uh, is a tinder. We're, we might need that to light a fire later, although we already have some yellow leaves, which do the same thing. The chamomile juice I'm going to keep on me. The fire starter I'm going to keep on me. The knife stays on me. Um, we already have a couple of the bandages from the chamomile leaves, so I'm going to put them away. We also have bark to start fires with, so actually all, let's, let we, we have three different pieces of tinder on us right now. We don't need all three. Let's just keep those. Oh, we don't need to put those in a box. Uh, these dates can stay on us until I eat them. Why don't I eat a couple of those right now? One more. I'm just worried. I'm going to get sick. Nope. Okay, good. I ate all three of the dates without getting sick. Excellent. Good, good. So that lightened us up quite a bit. Um, should we look at making a torch here and go out the back? Okay. So crafting, uh, this is probably a tool is a torch. There's a torch, primitive torch. Requirements, only one small stick. And equip it. and light it up. 30 minutes to light a torch. It's not easy, guys. All right, what's back in here? Stick. We're gonna watch our step. Yep, there's some Scorpionis. They don't like the light. They're running from the light. You know what would be good would be to chase them all the way out onto the sand and then put this out. Well, I really don't want to have to start it again, but they're going to be hard to kill while they're running, and they're going to keep running away from the light. There we go. Okay, good. And then those we can use in crafting later, so I am going to pick them up. I'm running now to try to make the most of our torch here. Although these torches last... They last a long time. More scorpions. Come with. Thank you.
And another one. Uh, two more. There are a lot of them right now. Well, I don't want to... Anyway. There seem to be a lot of scorpions in this cave, huh? There was one more who I think ran the other direction. Keep an eye out for him, too. Stick. There he is. Well, our scorpion needs are supplied. We are well supplied on scorpion corpses. Scorp scorpses. Scorpses. <laughs> uh, I cracked myself up. And we made it to their side. Now it is darkish. Do we put out the torch? Let's leave the torch on for a minute. Lots of good stuff. Okay, um, lots of good stuff here. I don't. I only want to really be harvesting stuff that I need. So that's all of that. So that's where we started down there. That's where our first bed is built. Right down there. Looks like we got definite forest slash jungle off in the distance that way. Another huge mountain over that way. Chickens, if we get hungry. Definitely chickens to eat here. But we're not super hungry right now. We got all those coconuts that we found. Just check our position on the map real quick. All right, we're getting into uncharted territory here. I'm going to turn left so that we stay in stuff that we've already mapped, so we kind of know what to expect, what's ahead of us. Oh, a critter. Hello, dog. Wow, wow. Now, if we leave him alone, he'll leave us alone, so let's just go around him. Okay, into the edge of the jungle. We're not that tired yet, so I'm going to keep going for a couple more hours before we head back to sleep. Uh, we can harvest up some tobacco leaves here. You know, who doesn't want tobacco? Hibiscus could come in handy. Let's grab some of those. Unlocking new blueprints. That's what we want to do. Here's a plant. Oh, with birds of paradise and wide leaves. Great. We need those wide leaves to make shoes. I would like some more wide leaves if possible. Yeah. Maybe exploring the forest on day two is less than wise. That is a boar. And with a crappy little wooden spear, he's definitely guarding something. Could that be the water source? That could be the water source right there. But I don't want to tangle with that boar tonight. Certainly not at night, and ideally not with this crappy little wooden spear. Let's see if we can get at least a stone spear before we go after him. Is he coming after us? Uh, we got plenty of Birds of Paradise flowers now. Let's just get some more of these leaves. And then we're going to head back. Wasn't there one more of these Bird of Paradise here? Yeah. Oh, six here. Oop, I hear a snake. Now, a snake I might kill because, yeah. Because we might be able to get something good off of him. With our iron knife, we can harvest that. I did... Whoa. What happened? I ran a bit of a risk of... Where'd our spear go? Of getting injured there. Did I pick up the spear? Oh, no. 
I think we, we hit some kind of glitch. I don't see our spear anymore. Oh, there it is. There it is. Okay. Yeah, I'm not going to kill that other snake that way. Well, okay. Yeah, you know what? Because I don't want to harvest him. Uh, I can harvest him. As long as I've got the fire going or the torch going, I don't have to worry too much about getting injured or attacked as I harvest stuff at night. Ah! I have been attacked regardless. By a Scorpionis! Uh, yikes. And he'll immediately run away from the torchlight. So I don't know how we got here in the first place. That is breadfruit, which means we are standing under a breadfruit tree. Definitely worth, har worth harvesting up some breadfruit. Good. Okay. And a death cap. Um, I don't think that mushroom's going to do us much good, but we'll bring it with us anyway. Okay, it's getting late. Let's go home. Oh, I've gone completely the wrong direction. Okay, our actual grotto is not on the map right now. We're going to have to do some more um, sketching to get the actual grotto on the map. But that huge mountain is a pretty easy to see landmark for us to keep us going. Give us a little bit of direction. And we do have to go back through the cave. Well, we don't have to. I mean, we could go around. But we're going to go back through the cave. I think we're going to keep the torch burning. Just so you guys can see. Like, I I can kind of see my eyes are adjusted to, to the darkness now. But I want you guys to be able to follow along, too. Bagawk. Chicken. We're getting a bit heavy now. Picking up all those leaves. We got all those leaves on us. And I think we're going to drink some coconut water and go straight to bed. No need for a fire tonight. Our food is good. And we're not wet, so we don't need to dry off. We're spending a lot of time in shade, so hopefully our sunburn will be going away on its own soon. These scorpions should all be gone. I shouldn't... We shouldn't have to worry about running into them again. So I'm just going to sprint through here. Except for when I stop to grab that stick. And that stick. And we're getting stronger by the day. I feel stronger. I feel like I'm more athletic somehow for some reason. Okay. We are home again. Put out our torch. And axe back in there. That torch is almost gone, that primitive torch. I can make a better torch later on, but yeah, that was it. One night of torching, and that's it. Okay, so what was I going to do? I was going to have something to drink. First, let's get rid of some of this weight. I'll get those, rid of those scorpions, get rid of the tobacco leaves. Well, well, the tobacco leaves and the hibiscus flowers, might we might be able to make some bandages with those, but that's going to require a fire, so I'm just going to set all that stuff aside until the next time we have a fire, and then we'll worry about it. Death cap does not seem like something that you would want to eat. Yeah, food plus two, water plus two, food poisoning, 48%. So we could probably use those in a recipe or something, and it won't make us so sick. But for the time being, um, do I want to crack open a coconut or eat breadfruit? Let's eat a breadfruit or two. Oops. Yeah, we'll, we'll get all our food going. Because, again, these fruits aren't going to last. So we want to eat them while we have them before they go bad. Um, and maybe one more puts us all the way at the top on food and water. So now we'll just go to sleep. Uh, it's only one hour till sunrise. Hmm. Mm, 
I'm gonna I'm gonna sleep straight through. We're gonna sleep half the day away, but that's okay because we were up all night doing stuff. Now, quickly to note down here, my health stat. Uh, see this red bar at the top? That's just from from being in the shipwreck. I can fix that with the water of life that we picked up, the living water that we picked up here earlier. But I'm not going to do that right now because living water also gives us a huge amount of health recovery, and our, we don't need it right now. We've we've. I'd rather wait until I'm injured and need full help, a, a much more help than I need right now. So let's just sleep. Oh, rain. Unfortunately, the we had no water catcher, no rain catcher set up to catch that rain. So kind of wasted that rain, but we can get one set up ASAP. Let's do that first. Let's make some shoes. Leaf sandals requiring two narrow leaves, two wide leaves. And those will go right on us. A liana belt, we're actually going to need a liana rope for that, which we no longer have any because we used one to climb that cartographer's tree. A portable box we don't need to make because I grabbed that backpack as we left the ship, as we dove off the ship. Yeah, so here's some stuff we can make. Process scorpion venom. Hibiscus petals and tobacco compress. We can all make some new bandages with the wide leaves we picked up and the flowers that we picked up and the scorpions. But again, that requires a fire to make. And so I just want to save all of this stuff, all of this to be done when I have a fire already going, which would be at night. I mean, the, the smart time to actually make the fire would seem to be at night. Okay, reach the location near the... I'm sorry, our goal is to reach the location near the bay, which is on the other side of the island, as we already saw from the map that we looked at. Um, before we do that, let's see if there's anything else we can craft survival-wise over here, like a rain catcher or something. Machines. Coconut rainwater collector. We're going to need a coconut flask for that. Um, coconut flask, I think, is going to require liana rope, right? Other items. Yeah, coconut flask is going to require liana rope. A lot of these things are going to unlock when I find a liana rope, so let's do that today. Let's go in search of liana. Let me just check my inventory, make sure we're not carrying anything we that's weighing us down. No, I think I probably could end up using all that stuff. The only thing we don't need is eight... Eight of the brown narrow leaves. Yellow leaves. Everything else can stay on me. Shall we go a different way this time just to see what else is going on out there? It should. It's going to put me out into the sun a little bit, but now that we're fully clothed, that shouldn't be as much of a problem. Yeah, okay. See? Yes, we are sunburned, but hopefully that's going away. And hopefully us being clothed is going to keep us from getting any sicker. Any more sun sickness. Just a little guy. These guys aren't, aren't too... Yeah. They're not too mean. They don't really make any good eating. Or any crafting items. So we're just going to let them be when we see them. Let's see what's going on with this stand of trees here. Oh, dates, dates, good. And coconuts, good. Let's get all the dates. And these coconuts, how are we? We got two and two. We'll get these on the way back, or we'll just leave them there for now. I don't want to be carrying them on our excursion today. Let's take it a little bit slow back in here, because this seems like... Yeah, I was just going to say, this seems like where a snake might hang out in the sun to warm up. Because it's a choke point, you know? So it knows that the little critters who can't climb the rocks are going to be passing through here. And I don't really want to be out in the sun harvesting up his, his tail right now. That's more chamomile. We don't need that. These are not really harvestable. You can cut them down, but they do damage you if you run into them.
more Jatoba gum? Yeah. That up there looks like another cartographer's tree. Unfortunately, to climb that, we are going to need more lianas. So let's get off into... What's this? Uh, da -da 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 -da. Fruit! Not going to say no to fruit. Thank you. I hear a burb. Yeah, we got to keep an eye out for those burbs. Oh, that's a liana tree right there. See the green vine wrapped around it? So this will give us our first bit of liana. 11, in fact, which is going to take an hour and 45 minutes, but we're going to need all that rope. Shoot, insufficient tool durability. Uh, let's just deselect how many. Yeah, okay. So we can select eight, but then we're going to have to repair or craft another stone axe. We'll go ahead and repair it once. We do lose a little bit of durability on it every time we repair it, but once ain't going to hurt. And then get those last three with our repaired axe. Great. Now I can go to crafting and actually turn that liana into rope because I'll combine it with the narrow leaves. We'll wrap them around and thread it together and make ourselves a rope. Good. Now we have a rope, 11 new blueprints unlocked, and let's see if we can figure out where that big cartographer's tree was. Is that it there? That sure does look like it. Let's go. I want to be careful about sprinting through the jungle here. You can come up on those snakes awfully fast. There's a toadstool there that we don't need right now. We're not, we're not in a position to do anything with it, so might as well ignore it. More mushrooms here. These are just for tinder. Those are dried mushrooms. Don't need them. Just looking around to make sure there's nothing going to be hunting us as we try to do this. And let's try to do it in the shade as much as possible. <gasps> Damn it! Alright, well, the snake got us, but he did not poison us. He just wounded us a little bit. Whew. We do have those scorpions back at base. We could make some anti-venom if we needed it. Thankfully, we don't need it, although somebody else. I want to kill these every time I see them because I, I really don't want to be sprinting through a little gap like this and come up on it, as just happened. Shoot. Well, I must have deflected off the rock there. I should be able to throw my axe at it. Are you kidding me? Both of my weapons are now stuck on that thing. Ay 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 ay. Um I mean the spear might be retrievable without getting bit, but I doubt it. I think we're going to have to go in and try to get that spear. Two damage from the fall. I, 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 this is really not good because we need to get up that tree before the sun sets. Oh, he's gonna, he's, he's gonna get us. I just gotta. Yeah, I know. I've, I, I'm taking poison damage now, but damn it. Our spear is completely damaged. That's probably why it didn't kill him, unless I just completely missed him. But our spear is down to nothing durability-wise, and I think. Uh, I think it's going to be too late to get up that tree. Yeah, see, it's night now. Like, right now. It's officially night. And we can't do the sketching. Well, gosh, I suppose it's worth racing up there to see if we can just barely... No, the stars are out. Never mind. Ah, stuck on that. Okay. Okay. Well, that was kind of a bust. I, I ran around the corner and got nipped by a snake, and then uh, I def my spear deflected off the rock, and I was unable to kill the snake, and then my axe didn't kill it. 
and then I got bitten again. So we took damage and now we're poisoned. Luckily we have those the makings of an anti-venom bandage back at base. So I think we should go back to base, call it a night. We'll come back out here tomorrow and um, get up that tree. And this is going to be more interesting to inspect in the daylight also. So why don't we leave that for tomorrow? Okay. All right, in which case, I'm just going to run back home and sleep for the night. And, well, for, first I guess we'll make the um, we'll make the bandage. So hang in there a couple more Ooh, I ran up right across a nettle. Idiot. We're going to need that steamed bandage soon, huh? Yeah, so hang with me a couple more minutes. We'll start a fire. Uh, we're not tired yet, so we'll start a fire. We'll get some of those bandages made. And then we'll call it a night. Yeah, bark, bark, bark. You're so mean. Why can't we be friends? Come be my pet. I'll be good to you. I'll treat you well. I'll be a good master. I will hardly ever send you out on dangerous expeditions to get shipwrecked. Oh, stop. Still a little bit sunburned. That sunburn's not going away on its own very well, but I, my fingers are crossed. I do think that it could happen at some point. Okay, let's get a fire going. Let's do let's do a good amount of time here because we've got to make a bunch of bandages. All right, and then ignite it using yellow leaves as tinder. And I failed, but let's try again. And I failed again. Finally. Great. Now let's get a bunch of these. Get a few of these. Let's see, that's six. That's a lot. How about four to start with? How about five? Because we know we're going to use one immediately. And then some tobacco leaves. How about two of those? And two of the hibiscus flowers. And I don't think the bird of paradise make any bandages. So, process scorpion venom. Five of those is going to take an hour. Okay. Let's, before we go continue with this, let's actually use that. Whoops. To get rid of this poison. Good. Minor poisoning disappeared. Now let's make a couple of hibiscus bandages, which are good for runny, new, runny nose, flu, severe flu, and pneumonia. I lost a positive status vital health estimate. That's just from the the, the bandage goodness wearing off, I think. Uh, tobacco compress. Let's make a couple of those. Oh, just one of those. And chamomile. We weren't going to make any of those. Oh, you know what? I have tobacco. I just need um, another one of these large leaves. This is probably it for the fire. How much time we got left? Two and a half, almost three hours. So two more, one more tobacco compress. Good. All right. And we know we're going to be using a mapping charcoal tomorrow to get up to that cartographer tree. So I'm going to make a couple more of those. Oh, right. And we've got all those eggs that we can make. Should we do that? Yeah. Well, let's do some of them. Let's do two or three of those. That'll give us a nice break from the... Um... Oh, you know what else we can make? Yeah, baked cakes, because this is an upgraded fireplace with the stones around it, not like the one that we first built back there on the beach. So this one actually allows us to bake stuff, and we can use one breadfruit, which we found, and the eggs that we found in the nest, and make some, some cakes that are going to last a bit longer. And that was all of our breadfruit. Yeah, okay. So, I think that's it. Let's eat up. Uh, these these fried eggs should last a while. The baked cakes should last a while. The fruit's not going to last very long. So, now nah, these eggs are getting pretty bad already. And we've only got two left, so I'm going to go ahead and fry them up. 
Can I craft not a fuel, so I need one more stick in here. Go to the fire tab at the top. And it went out. Shoot. All right. Well, I don't want to waste another fire starting attempt on that. Uh, the sun is actually coming up. We spent all night cooking up those bandages. So I'm going to go to sleep and sleep the day away. Uh, hopefully leave a couple of hours to get out to that cartographer's tree before the sun sets again today. But why don't we call it an episode here, guys? Our first episode uh, looking for the Fountain of Youth. Thanks for watching, everybody. Stay safe, survivors.